Steve, how would you just overall assess the this these last three weeks, this preseason in general? Uh, we've had a great preseason. Um, we've, uh, I think, had a lot of competition. Um, we've had uh, every guy uh, coming in in good shape and um, playing hard and playing well and playing together. And, um, you know, tonight obviously was not a, a fair fight given – uh, that the Lakers sat all their guys, but um, it didn't uh, take away f- from the the way we played, how hard we played, and and so yeah, I'm really pleased with with our progress to this point, and uh, it'll be fun to get started for real. Steve, you guys' uh, first five made shots were all assisted. You had 37 assists on 51 made shots. How encouraged were you with the ball movement tonight and throughout these six games? Yeah, it's great, and um, you know we. Took good care of the ball as well, and um, a lot of good uh, good offensive flow tonight and throughout the preseason. So um, I think we're uh, we're getting to where we need to be, but it'll get a lot harder, obviously, once it starts for real. What about the first five man group? Obviously, Steph's not there, Melton in his place, but those other four who we've talked about, kind of an interesting combo with Wiggins, J.K., Draymond, and Trace. What did you see from them tonight? Was it the step forward you wanted? Uh, yeah, I thought uh, Melt really did a good job of kind of connecting that group, and um, Draymond played a fantastic first half. Didn't take a shot, but controlled the whole game. And um, you know, I like the size and athleticism with that lineup, so it sets a good tone for us uh, on the defensive end. Steve, what was your message to uh, Trace when the, at the end of last season, and and how do you, has he looked to you over the summer and into the preseason now? Uh, the message was keep, you know, keep working, keep getting better, and um, you know, run the floor. I mean, that's we talk to him all the time. When he sprints the floor, it's um, you can feel it. And I, I say the same thing to J.K. and Wiggs. You know, we need those guys to get out and sprint. And and um, so I think Trace, the last three games in particular, has uh, has really uh, been doing that. And um, you know, Melt, he and Melt have a nice connection on those lob passes. And, um, yeah, Trace has had a good camp. It's fun watching him. I know it's hard to take stuff away from this game in particular, but how would you evaluate the way that J.K. played today on both ends? J.K. was good. You know, um, again, we're, we're really pushing him to, uh, to run the floor. I mean, that's his gift, you know, his, his athleticism, his speed. And uh, he has a tendency at times to kind of, uh, you know, get into a home run trot um, instead of, you know, going Hussein Bolt and sprinting and, you know, as fast as he can. And when he does that, um, you, you, you feel the impact. Um, he sprints the floor. He might get a dunk or he'll pull a defender with him. You know, somebody else gets an open shot because of him. Um, so the last two games he's run the floor harder and, and uh, he's done some nice things. And then Moody being uh, the 11th player to touch the floor in the first half and starting the second half. What was the um, decision making, the thinking with that? We have um, a whole roster full of guys who are capable of being in the rotation. I I have some really difficult decisions to make uh, Wednesday night in Portland. Um, Literally every guy on our roster is capable of of um, being in the rotation, which which bodes well for the 82 game season, you know I think we're going to be well suited to play through injuries um, and um, you know any other absences. We, we, we're we're well prepared and and well stocked to um, put a really good group of players out there. So, uh, but it makes for difficult decisions, and we'll see where we go on Wednesday. Um, but you know there's there's going to be no matter how you slice it. Um, we're gonna we're gonna have to leave some good players out of the rotation. I don't know who that's gonna be right now. I haven't haven't made up my mind because I haven't seen the separation um, because they've all been they've all been really good. To kind of follow up on Danny's question about Kaminga, um, how do you see what do you see from him defensively? You mentioned yesterday he still needs to get better on defense, and yeah. it seemed like some possessions I was watching he was engaged and active, and others. He kind of drifted a bit. What did you think? Yeah, we're just we're working with him every day to uh, improve uh, his defense. Um, you know, he obviously has the uh, the the gifts, the athletic gifts to be a, 
a great defender, and it's it's really more a matter of being in the right spot, and so that um, you know when he closes out to players, he's on balance and um, understanding what you know other teams are trying to do. So um, it's uh, he's he's getting better, and and he'll keep working. But um, you know he he has his moments where you you see it, and you know that he can be more consistent. How quickly have you seen Andrew kind of catch up to speed over the last two games and over the next five or so days until Wednesday? Uh, what do you have to? What do you want to continue to see from him as he continues to ramp up and stuff? Yeah, I mean, I, I thought he looked good tonight. He was moving well. Um, we got him up over twenty minutes, and and uh, so his conditioning is getting uh, getting there after the illness. And uh, we've got three more practices: um, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday to to get uh, to get him. You know, another level up, and uh, he's, uh, you know, he's such a great teammate, great guy, um, hard worker. So he's he's doing everything he can to to be as ready as possible. Uh, how how would you characterize just how the, the chemistry of this group has evolved? You know, on and, and off the floor, just kind of the emotional tenor that you you're gauging so far. At it's, this a, point. it's a great group. Um, we have uh, you know kind of a clear leadership at the top with. Um, you know, Steph and Draymond, and I love the um, the vets that we've added, Buddy and and Kyle and and uh, DeAnthony. You know, they're um, really right in the primes of their respective careers, and and uh, and then we've got these group of young guys. So I I, I think it's a well constructed roster, both from a you know a basketball standpoint, but also a chemistry standpoint. These guys like each other a lot, and they're they're having a lot of fun. They're competing. It's a good group. Thank you.